Hello and welcome guys. So in the last video, we have built our model architecture. We have uh, discussed about this filters and all these things. And also we have understand about this filter that it is creating a feature map. Each feature map is creating a different characteristic of the image, which is important to feed to our neural network so that neural network can understand the characteristic of image and capture the important feature from the image we have also seen the architecture here so in this video we are going to train our model so if you are new to this video then please watch this playlist from beginning so here i am going to train my model so let me give one markdown here training model or we can give here model training okay to train our model what we will use here we will write here model dot fit and we will pass our training set here x we will pass equal to training set so this is my training set and for validation data to validate our model performance i will use my validation set okay i will use my validation set okay apex i am going to use right now as 10 okay and also i want to record my training history do a visualization of my model so i will write as a training history so in this we will i will store all the history of the model so that in future if i want to do a visualization and if i want to see the variation of model with respect to number of epoch then i can easily see okay that's why i'm recording the entire thing in this variable training history okay basically this model dot fit will return the history of the model okay so this is done now let's run this so here for first epoch we, here we are getting this much of loss we will monitor this entire thing and we will try to see how model is performing and if model is not performing well then we will try to adjust the architecture okay this entire architecture will adjust and we will understand from here that what step we can take okay suppose you are also building any model and you will also face the same type of problem which we are going to face here and i will try to resolve this problem here okay let's wait for some time okay so if you see here in first epoch we are getting this 4.44 loss and in second epoch we are getting this much of loss okay instead of decreasing loss here loss is increasing okay so this is a problem of overshooting loss function here we are trying to minimize this loss but here it's increasing okay? there can be multiple issues because of which it's happening okay so let's stop this kernel first so i am interrupting this kernel this is a problem of overshooting loss function this algorithm is not able to minimize this loss function so there can be multiple issues because of which it's happening okay one thing is that it's because of uh, high learning rate that's why my adam algorithm is not able to minimize this loss so first what we will do we will set this learning rate if we go here and search as tf dot keras dot optimizer dot adam if we go inside this documentation then you will see here the default learning rate value is this much 0.001 so what we will do we will copy this from here and instead of putting it like this we will put like this okay this is my default value and i will add one more zero here i am setting this learning rate value as 0 0.0001 so this is very small value so i will set this as this let's compile it again here we can use written here their tensorflow stf so let's write like this so it's saying that at this time version 2.11 optimizer tf dot optimizer runs slowly on m1 m2 chip as i am using mac m2 chip for mac user who are using mac m1 or mac m2 chip they have to use this command just copy this entire thing with this tf dot keras dot optimizer dot legacy you have to use inside this and just compile it now you will not get any warning okay it will run little faster as compared to previous one okay now we are good to go but uh, i'm not going to train it again because i have already tested it so if we train this model still our issue will not get resolved so this is one thing which you can do to avoid the problem of overshooting but for this use case this is not enough what i am doing here i am commenting out here 
what can be multiple issues because of which this is happening to avoid overshooting first thing what is happening that it is very high learning rate okay so i am writing here choose small learning rate default is uh, 0.001 we are taking 0.0001 okay and second problem what is there i have already tested it and i have find out that thing second problem is that there may be a chance of underfitting there may be a chance of underfitting so increase number of neuron there may be a chance of underfitting to avoid the underfitting underfitting basically means that your model is unable to capture the entire information of your data set this means that your model is not capable of capturing these things your model is not good enough so you have to increase the number of neuron and third is very important is it is also related to underfitting so to avoid the underfitting you can do one thing that add more convolution layer to extract more feature feature from image there may be a case that what feature map we are generating here is not sufficient to for our model to capture the important part there may be something is missing so that our model is creating necessary noise or something like that so that to get all the information we have to add more convolution layers so that we we generate some more feature maps so that our model is able to capture the important feature from that image okay so third point is saying that add more convolution layer to extract more feature from image there may be possibility that model unable to capture relevant feature or model is confusing yeah this thing is also very important confusing due to lack of feature so feed with more feature i have written in very simple language so this three thing we will implement here then we will train our model okay so we have already done this first part if you see here this learning rate we have set to 0.0001 and this second part is saying that there may be chance of underfitting so increase the number of neuron so what we will do we'll go here and increase this number of neuron from 1024 to 1500 okay and third thing is saying that add more convolution layer to extract more feature from image so what we will do we will copy this entire thing from here and we will paste here okay we are adding one more convolution layer here and we are putting it as 512 we now we are using 512 filters okay and we have to remove this because we don't need this entire thing here We've already passed so i'm removing this we have added more convolution layer we have increased our number of neurons in our dense layer and decreased our learning rate here okay and now before before starting training process let me add some uh, dropout here so to add dropout you have to add here dropout it's also a part of tensor flow layer so add here model dot add inside this add dropout and here i am giving 25 percent it's saying that whatever layers you are getting drop 25 percent from them again i am adding one more dropout layer here why we are adding this because we are trying to avoid the problem of overfitting because making more model complex leads to overfitting so we have to stick in between overfitting and underfitting okay we have 1500 number of neurons from that neurons i am dropping 40 percent of the neurons okay in this model dot add we are dropping 25 percent of the neuron from the layers okay we can comment here that to avoid overfitting avoid overfitting we are doing these things okay so before running this cell let me do one modification so here what we are doing here in first layer we have added padding is equal to same which means that uh, if you go to the documentation padding in convolution you will see that uh, by default the argument of padding is valid so padding is equal to valid means what valid means no padding and same result in padding evenly to the left right or up down of the input padding is equal to same means that whatever input are coming take the same size okay so if uh, this convolution layer generates some feature map which is having some different size of matrix because after this convolution operation this convolution operation will generate a feature map so this feature map is having some different size so by 
writing this argument as padding is equal to same i am saying that please make our feature map in such a way that its size is same as our input size okay so that's why here we are writing padding is equal to same but in this second convolution layer we will not write this padding is equal to same why because if we take every time this padding is equal to same then if you go here and you will see that our total parameter is become here 65.07 mb so it is very high so if i take this then my model will be trained very slowly so my training speed will be reduced because we have a lot of parameter so what we will do we will remove this this thing from here because already we have taken our padding in first layer so whatever input is coming we are taking in this first layer and this in second layer we are not taking it so if you see by default padding is equal to valid so valid means here no padding okay so we are not applying padding in second layer we will only apply padding in in the first layer of convolution so here we are applying padding and then after max pooling whatever output is generated after max pooling will go here in this second this convolution layer so here we will apply padding but in this second one we will remove padding okay and then after this max pooling the output will go here so we want the same feature map whatever we are getting from here okay so that's why we are applying padding here but we will not apply padding here okay it's irrelevant if we apply then our training speed will will be less so to boost our training speed we are doing this process so we'll remove padding from here also and similarly from here also okay now let's run this entire cell okay so we have successfully imported all the required libraries we have initialized our sequential function and then this is first convolution and max pooling second third fourth fifth and then we are executing dropout layer so that it will drop some some of the neurons and then we are doing this flattening operation and then we are creating our hidden layer with 1500 neurons and then we are dropping out 40 percent of neuron from this layer and then we are adding our output layer here with 38 neurons and activation function as softmax and then we are compiling this model by using 0.0001 learning rate and then let let's see the summary so earlier our model is having 65.07 mb of parameters now let's see after running this so now you see here we are getting here 29.92 mb of parameters okay now if we run then we will see our training speed will be increases so let's run and train our model now let's wait for some time it will take uh, almost 30 minutes to train this model so we have successfully trained our model so if you see here our loss is decreasing after 10 epochs we are getting here training accuracy as 96.84 percent and validation accuracy as 95.52 uh, percent i think the accuracy is good so if you see on this architecture we have successfully completed our training so let me summarize this video what we have done so far basically when we are training our model at previous architecture then we have seen the problem of overshooting of loss function so to avoid the overshooting of loss function first we have decreased our learning rate from 0.001 to 0.0001 and also we have seen that there may be a chance of underfitting so to avoid the underfitting we have increased the number of neurons here if you see earlier we are using 1024 neuron but then we have increased our number of neuron these parameter i have selected because i have tested it and i am getting good result on this 1500 neurons and also we have uh, added some more convolution layer because uh, there may be a possibility that the model is unable to capture the relevant feature or model is confused due to lack of feature so that's why we have added this 512 filter after this so that we are increasing the number of feature of the image so that model is able to capture the feature of the image that's why if you see here when we are doing all these three things after that when we have trained this model by taking this architecture then we are getting here as a validation accuracy equal to 95.52% and also we have changed this padding here padding parameter in this second layer after this first convolution layer because if we follow padding is equal to same in all layers then we have seen that here uh, our total parameter increased up to 70 plus percent 
so we have decreased this parameter by uh, removing the padding from here so that our training speed will increase if you are facing the problem of overfitting then to avoid the overfitting we have used here dropout so that our model is in between overfitting and underfitting okay that's why we have added one dropout layer in after this all convolution layer and also we have added one dropout here after this hidden layer so we have avoided here underfitting by increasing the number of neurons and making our neural network complex and also we have added some dropout layer so that to avoid overfitting that's why we are able to get this result okay and also to avoid the overshooting of the loss function we have here we have added this learning rate is equal to 0 0.0001 we have decreased the learning rate so that adam algorithm is going to minimize our loss function so it will take small number of steps to minimize the loss function and to reach the local minimum okay so by doing all these steps we are able to get this much of accuracy so that's all for this video in next video we will evaluate our model performance and also we will learn how to save our model so thank you guys thanks a lot for watching this video